Hey, hey, how y'all doing? About to cover this page for day 32. The elves are shining up the sled. They are getting Santa ready because he's got to get ready to go. We only a few days away, you understand? So they got to get busy with doing what they got to do, okay? They don't just make toys, okay? They got something else they got to do. So here we are with this and let's see how we want to handle it now okay i think we're going to give everybody a green outfit okay because the outside okay maybe we won't let's see how we want to handle it i'm thinking about it thinking about it okay okay we're gonna have two girls she's a girl and we're gonna have two girls and two boys so this will be a girl and let's see, where else can we find a girl? All of them look alike, which is, you know, about par for the course. But we're going to make two of them girls and two of them boys. But all of them got this swinging jacket on, you understand? So I'm trying to understand how I want to approach it. I've been looking at it for a minute, but I'm just saying, let's color the sleigh while we keep pondering. The sled, okay. I always say the sleigh, you know, because in my mind I'd be like, Sleigh bells ring. Are you listening? Right, but okay, we're right here. We're gonna color this sled and then we're gonna keep thinking about how. Because for a second, I was gonna color all their clothes green and um, give them a red hat. You know, maybe stripe it or something like that for their hat. Then I was thinking maybe give them a black bottom and a black boot and a green jacket with a red hat. That's the way it's probably going to work out. That's kind of how I'm looking at it, okay? I'm just saying. All right. Uh, this pen, I keep on using every kind of green pen, okay? Some of these green pens is down low this okay so we're gonna go ahead and knock this one out real quick I think I think okay let's see now we have that that's gonna be the outside so we're going up in here like this right here And then, all right, let's get that red. Let's uh, then put this red around here. And coming on around here. That's the way we're going with it. Okay. Let's go ahead and put that in there. And then, let's go and drop down here a little bit. And then, so how y'all doing today? Are y'all feeling all in the Christmas mood and, you know, ready to bake cookies and do something for yourself that's festive-like, you know? Or is it feeling like, um dry like we ain't real sure where we at with the whole thing but it is coming it's approaching you know it's getting up here in our face a little bit but you know somebody asked me the other day do it feel like Christmas to you and I was like absolutely not and then they said it hasn't felt like Christmas in a couple of years for me and I said you're right I was in the post office and I said you're absolutely right um, hasn't felt like Christmas in a minute, but, you know, those are the times that we're in right now where ain't nobody, you know, not many people are feeling, you know, the whole, it's the most wonderful time of the year thing. You know, a lot, a lot of hardships happened since COVID. I get it. You know, I get it. A lot of things going on financially, 
people still out of work, don't have the kind of employment they had before COVID. You know, a lot of things going on. But I'm so in agreement with the children's um, Christmas movie that's called uh, Santa Claus is Coming to Town. It's a real old movie, right? And he said, he said in the movie, he said, you know, doesn't it just make you feel good that Santa in some kind of way can erase a tear that was cried on Saturday? Right. And I was thinking, man, maybe at some point Christmas always happened, you know, close to the weekend. I don't really know. But what I do know is that, um, you know, there is a joy and a happiness about this season, even though things not all that you wish they could be. It's still a joy and a happiness about this season. I mean, they say it's the most wonderful time of the year, right? And it really is because it's just, it's altogether lovely. It really is. When you look at it compared to all other holidays, this is the best one ever. I mean, Easter is beautiful. Easter is a beautiful holiday also because it's all about the resurrection of Christ. But this one is about his birth. If he had not become a man, if he had not become a man, then he couldn't have been in place to replace Adam who fell in into disobedience because he was listening to the wife. You know what I'm saying? And that caused all humanity to fall. And so, because he was born... A man, the scriptures say, by one man's disobedience, we all became sinners. And by one man's obedience, we'll all be made righteous. You know what I'm saying? So that means that he died once to fix everything for whoever will accept him. That's what the word said. The word of God said, whosoever will, let him come. Whosoever will. And so it's a beautiful thing. I be looking at when I'm coloring this red and this green. Like, why is red and green so pretty? Like, if you wear it together, it's almost like, it's not Christmas. Why are you putting that on together? You know. And if you think about it, you rarely see people wear the combination. Unless it's Christmas time. Because these are just like Christmas colors. You just don't really see nobody walking around with... You know, a red, a, say like a red pair of pants or a red skirt and a green blouse, unless it's Christmas time. And um, that's due in part to the red for his blood, right, which happened at the cross. And then the green represents the tree that he hung on. All of that is Easter. But, you know, that's what they picked up for this Christmas season. And it's just beautiful. It really is. It's just beautiful. Okay. I don't know. I don't have too much more to discuss and share that don't involve God coming up some kind of way. He gonna come up, period. That's just how it is, you know. That's just how it is in my life. He's going to come up because he's been too good to me. And I love him for real. With everything that I am, I love him like that. So it's like, you know, Christmas is all about Jesus. It really is. And this is why some people have, you know, said, we're not dealing with the whole Christmas thing. It's just a holiday, like any other holiday. No, every other holiday got a name. They didn't say we sick of hearing Halloween. We're not going to name the name Halloween. We're not going to name the name uh, Thanksgiving. We're not going to name the name Memorial Day or Flag Day or, you know, 
4th of July or anything like that. Everything else has a name to its holiday, right? President's Day. Dr. King Day. You know, all these things have a name. But when it comes to Christmas, they just want to say holiday. Because no way to take Christ out of Christmas. Somebody tried it a long time ago. They started putting an X up. Xmas. Xmas. And I used to do it too. When I was young, I used to do it. And say Merry Xmas. And then as I became a Christian in my adult life. And uh, they told me you Xing out Christ. I said, I'm Xing him out. I said, where's his name? It wasn't there. You put an X up there. So, oh my God. Okay. Well, we got to fix that real quick, don't we? So, that's what happened with that for me. But I'm just saying, y'all, this is just a little chit chat while we get the coloring page going and everything. That's all a little chit chat and everything. I know somebody don't want to hear it, but you know, this is my little channel, my little piece of the world that I get to share. I'm not offending or saying anything to anybody. You know what I'm saying? I'm just talking about people. And whoever might think this or that, you only person. You're not people. You're in the people group, but so am I. So that's my argument. We're all in the people group. But when it comes down to you know, a particular, then it's not a particular because we're only talking about people, not person. The only name I named was Christ. Okay? The only name I named was Christ. Okay. So... Now, we got all of this in here. I think we might be able to just go around this all the way, I think. We can do the whole thing up front. I think that should be all right. Um, let's see. A couple of people asked me about these coloring pages, where I get them from, where can they get it from. I got this coloring book from my local thrift store for like three dollars, I think it was two ninety nine or two forty nine, and um, and I loved it. But um, I did look her up. Her name is Jade J A D E Summers, and I looked her up on. Amazon to see if I could find any more of her other books. Or do she have any more? And there was one other coloring book um, of hers, and I bought it. But it's not as good as this one. Not in my opinion. There's a lot of um, like busy pages. When I say busy, I mean, you know, all of that intense coloring and all of that kind of stuff. And then it's got whatever is in the front of the book is a half section and you get the whole book a second time. Why you put that like that, I don't know. But she understood what she was doing when she created it. I didn't understand it when I bought it. So I got me a refund for that. But um, yeah, because I didn't know what that was. 
but this book has been a blessing to me. I'm glad that I found it. And um, I was particularly glad that it had the black pages in the back. Now, this this page might come from my other book because I ordered another one old-fashioned Christmas coloring book. And this one probably came out of that because this book um, doesn't have black on the back of its pages where all of Jade Summers' coloring pages have a black page on the back. So like if you were going to paint it or use markers, that's why this page looked like that because it's black on the back of her pages. So while I'm coloring it, it makes it it makes it show up like that. Uh, I think. Do we want to make those? Hmm. I was going to make those red. It's coming down red in the front. But then underneath. We don't know what color that's going to be under there. So I'll just put this red on top of here. which I wasn't going to do. I thought I wanted to use gold, and then I thought green. I said, you know what, don't worry about it. Just make it red, it's okay. It's all right. So we're right here with the red, okay? Let's put the little red up here, and let that be the color. Okay, now, do we want red on all of it. I guess so. Why not? Just make all of it red. The whole thing. It's probably going to look good. I mean, when we see the sled is red anyway, so, you know, it's okay. It's okay to make it all red. Alright. And then we have put this here. All right, and now, let's see, we well, might can go ahead and do this part here. Come on down. Uh, I'm trying to understand. I always leave some little bit of white so things don't come all together to together the whole entire thing. All right, so now. This part here, I'm going to use this gold right here, all around here like so, like this, okay, so it's just like a bling, you know, let me get that going. All right, now, for this part in here, we're going to use, um, let's see, I want to use the gold, my hand itch. Just make some little asterisk stars and then we can use red. start to wait and I didn't know how this was going to go in here. I know how I did Mrs. Claus's 
um, apron last night, but I wasn't sure how, I wasn't sure how I was going to put this red in here. Sometimes I'll be quiet. I don't have much to say at all. And I just was thinking about how it might be a real good practice for me that I'll be so quiet like this because then I won't be talking when I have the video editor and the music. It'll be playing music while I'm doing something. That's what it'll be doing. I was already thinking about, am I going to do something like this again next year? I don't know if I am or not. If I find a nice coloring book, maybe. i got to find a really nice Christmas coloring book. It used to be that you could find tons of Christmas coloring books, but some of them, they just, I don't even know. And I don't like that old paper. You know, I like it when I'm, just coloring in it as a coloring book, but that old yellowish paper that coloring pages are on, I don't like that. While you're coloring on this side, you can see the image on the other side. I don't like that. So, I don't know. It's always been that way when somebody came up with doing a digital or something like that. That's what this is. This is somebody made this on their computer some kind of way and they printed it out on white paper. Just made it like this. Makes it very nice. Cause that old paper, you know, it's good for inside the coloring book. I wouldn't have wanted to color like all of those kinds of pictures like this every day. Cause it's just, it don't give the same type of um, love, I guess. It's kind of juvenile and nothing wrong with juvenile. Nothing wrong with that. I'm just saying that I wouldn't have wanted to do a series. As I keep saying, well, what you going to do with all the pages after you color them? I'm going to um, do a flip through of all of them at the end. And then I'll probably insert them, certain pages, sign them all with my name, my signature, and um, and then insert them in some of my junk journals when I start them and do the Christmas ones. You know, when I do a Christmas journal, then I'll take a page that I colored myself and fold it up and put it in there. Maybe two pages. That doesn't look bad. It's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. I think I'm going to do black for their pants. I think. That's going to look good. I talked about this black last night. How hard it is to, you know, just hold it. 
and be coloring. definitely need some kind of breakup because it's you know black makes it hard to understand where you started and where you stopped with the lines that were already created for the image all right so let's see okay I hope they don't take a still with this page upside down because it's going to be crazy. One of them is like that though. I was coloring something and YouTube froze an upside down image and made that the thumbnail. I was like, okay, whatever. I can't worry about it. If they click on it, they click on it. And if they don't, and they don't. I can't do nothing about it. I can't do anything about it. Okay, now, okay, we're going on over here and get these little pants. Get these little ones. I would love to do this. If I knew how to do this, if somebody knows how to do this, you know, to tell, tell me how I can do this, how I can create digital pages like this, because I love Christmas, and what I really wanted to do when I started, I said this twice, but I guess I can say it a few more times through this rest of this series. What I would um, like to do is create some Christmas ephemera, which is nice pictures that can go with um, junk journal and scrapbook and type situations and coloring pages and stuff like that. I don't know. Because when I be coloring these pages, my eyes be crossing. And I'm wondering, uh, oh shoot, it should be all right though. Um, I know it's a lot of eye struggle for me trying to color these papers like this. I don't know why it is, but it is. It's like, I guess because I be coloring with this pen, it's not like using a crayon and it's got to fill in all these white lines and 
My eyes be doing like this. Right, and I'll be saying, oh, okay. We can open our eyes up. I'll be trying to, but my eyes be closing with it. I don't really know why it's doing that, but every time I color, it be doing that. Every time. And I guess it's because, um, you know, I'm just using this little pen like this. I don't know. I got to get almost to a squint. I mean, I can see the picture just fine, but my eyes just start closing up while, when I'm coloring. I guess after about a few minutes into it, that's, that's what be happening. I be like, I don't know why they keep happening. That's crazy. But it does. I got nowhere to stop on this. What else? I'll be colored the whole inside of the shirt. I don't want to do that. That's supposed to be another color. And now, see how her pants is... It was a line right here, so you could see a part of the leg. But now it's like you can't even tell where the leg is. And I don't know if this is it. I'm going to just act like it is and put a little piece of black here. And don't color it all the way to the boot. Okay, and that's how we're going to leave that. Because that's what happens when it gets all together like this. Like, okay, now I don't know where the other pant leg is, but whatever. Okay, now we got that. And now we got to get this one. See how... But if I run the color on that black line, this all look like one unit. So we got to just stay away from it. Let's come in a little bit and come in here a little bit and come away from that line. Like this. Now you can see like a, you know, it's two legs in the clothing. All right. Makes me a little bit darker. Just a little darker. Come on up here a little bit and finish this. And don't make that too dark back there so you can... You know, see that there's a seam or something like that. I ain't sure. Stay in here. Make this dark. And leave the rest. See? Now you can tell. So, because I made that. I, you know what I'm saying. Can you, do you understand what I'm talking about when I'm, you know. I don't really know. Okay. So now, we have... All right, I'm gonna think I'm gonna do because this the outside work clothes, okay? When they inside, they have on green and red and white, and they outdoors now, okay? So we're just gonna give them a little something around here, okay? All right, and then we got something here a little bit. Like so. And then we want two girls. I want two girls. Okay. So I'm going to have two boys and we're going to have two girls. And so maybe these will be two boys to carry in the bucket. All right. I'm going to make two of these girls. I'm just saying they can be out. So let's make sure we don't get nothing too hot with this pink. Okay. Because the pink is bright. Yeah, like that's bright, so that other one might work. All right, this one might work. All right, so 
Let me get my eyes together first before I work with that. Let's use this green and get on these jackets. Everybody's going to have on a green jacket. Okay. Everybody's going to have on a green jacket. Okay. And then over here, sorry about I bumped into the, the phone a little bit. Um, I think that right there is the inside aisle. I think that's the inside aisle. The sled, I think, right here. If it ain't, I just made it to be. Okay, and then we'll put a little bit of green in here, and then we'll put a little bit of green here for the flap to the jacket. Okay, a little green up in here. Okay, now that's how everybody's gonna be looking, all right? I'm getting out here a little bit. Okay, and now we want to get a little piece of this. Okay, now a little bit of up here. Let me see what's happening here. Right here. Okay. And this part right here is just the motion of the rag wiping, shining. Okay. Now, let's get this one. This one can pretty much be filled because it's not around anything else.
るけどね。Sometimes it's like, I don't know why I can't fill these lines in. And then it's making an impression in the paper, and I'm scared it's going to tear. It always be looking like that. Like if you keep going over, it's going to just be writing on this in a minute. It's going to be a hole in there. It's like, oh, okay. I'm trying to just fill in the white, but it's not, you know, getting it done. See, he, he wasn't close to anybody, so he could get his clothes filled all the way in, pretty much, because, I mean, we can see, but, you know, while they moving around and all that, you got to focus on, well, at least that's how I see it, I don't really know how nobody else looking, they're like, no, I'm coloring all of that, why are you leaving these white spots all the time, and it's like... That's how I have to do it. So I can see and focus. And I just think that it outlines the clothing and, you know, you can tell what type of clothing it is instead of, you know, everything, everything just all black right there. It's like, okay. And no kind of lines, just colored over everything. Mm hmm Here. This is a little piece under here. And this. This part is out so we can color that in too because it's out here. Ain't nothing out there but white. This one might need a little thinner line. Let's see. Oh, hold on. It's a little thinner. Just a little thinner. And just a little bit thinner. Right here. Okay. All right, now. I'm to fill in some of these other stray white lines. Okay. Alright, now, let's see. Let's see this one. one up here. Okay. 
just about done. Just about. Maybe we have these three girls and these two will be boys. Who knows? It's a little bit of pink on their mouth. So a little bit too much. Yeah. Okay. And then um let's see. I'm gonna do it. I kept thinking about it. Am I gonna do it? I'm gonna do it. Cause I want them to be girls. Cause I want them to be girls, and these can be boys. Um, let's just give them a little bit of green, just a little bit on their ball. And these boys will have red. Just add a little line in there because we can't see all of see it's a little bit of line there and a little bit here I just put it on around a little bit even though I got in there some with the red it's okay though it'll be fine because I was gonna color the whole thing red and then I was saying it's great just run right into the sled and you ain't gonna be able to tell so it's okay I'm gonna come this way now this green come around here like so 
I would have left some white over there, but I messed the red up. I added red to it a little bit so that it got some kind of way. But we are right. And then the girls, they're going to have green and pink. They're going to have green and pink. I'm not going to color this all the way in. Um, come down here. Uh-huh. All right. And then, around right here, come up here. Then we're going to use that pink. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Let me do that. And okay. All right. And then they got to color their boots. Okay. And their boots need to be black. But guess what? We're not going to color them the way we colored those pants. We're going to color them just lightly so we can still see them with their roll down cuff. Okay? Like that. Okay? This one, and we can't see the other ones because they're inside the sled. Okay, but that was cute, and they got white rag, white cloth. All right, this girl right here, she gonna be African American. Okay, and she look like they look like they got an earring on. Do you see that? I see it. Okay, and she looked like she got one. And she don't, but we're going to give her one. Okay. Put a little black dot in there. And then, there you go. All right, she's going to be African American. Yep, she is. Okay, and then we'll get a black pencil just to add some other bang streaks to her. Okay, then this one, we'll get two more colors. Okay, all right, this one, we'll put a little brown. Just a wee bit and a little bit of yellow. I'm trying to make her like Asian. <laughs> and then we we'll use this little bit of orange, real light, like we did Mrs. Claus last night. Okay. Yes. Okay. And then this one can be a little bit of orange. Okay. And then he needs the other brown that looks like. Hmm, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Like this. Like this. All right. We can have this color brown for this one's hair. 
thing like so okay and then let's make sure we fill it in up here a little bit okay then right here this one can have little curls something like that okay and then this one can have these curls too this girl okay like that that way we get some diversity happening with them okay and she need a little bit of orange on her hand and he needs a little bit of orange on his hand and then this one needs a little bit of this yellow with a little bit of brown okay yep and then this one right here just knee brown okay and then we good all right oh we forgot a hand right here so let's give him a little bit of this yes okay now we're looking good we're looking good we're looking good we're going up here with this and we're going to give it a little bit of the deep chocolate like this okay then we're going to get us the dark blue this is not dark blue this one is dark blue like dark on that point pop right off oh now it's broke now it's broke okay all right and then we'll use the lighter blue here like so and then we'll put a few more of those things down here okay and let me put some in here okay and then we'll put this around in here like so like that and the color we're going to make our bucket red black okay and then we will get this some um, scarf here way out in, in the distance and then with this broken blue we'll put some swirlies in here with this okay all right come on over there like that then we'll come and we'll put big snow it's snow out. Nice big snow, fluffy snow. Okay. 
Okay. And that's how it's going to be. We need something for our handle right there. I don't know if that's a broom or a mop, but we're doing something with it. Okay. All right. And I think that's going to be it for us today. I think that looks pretty cool. I think so. Let me see if I want to shade a little bit. Just a little shade in here. Just a little shade in. Just to fill in some of the white patchy. Some of it, a little bit. Down here, right? Because it's right up close. All right. All right, and I think that's it. So, thanks for watching, and I hope that you enjoyed this coloring page tonight. And I hope that you will take time to write me a comment, and that you will like this video and share it out. And if you have not subscribed, why not? What are you waiting for? I'm right here. Every day almost. I only miss one day. In 32, I only miss one. And it was Monday. Today is Wednesday. And I made up Monday's work yesterday. I did Monday and Tuesday yesterday. So guess what? I'm always here. So come on and subscribe and be a part of this channel's family. And I hope to see you tomorrow night when we'll be on day 32. We're getting closer and closer to Christmas Day. So I hope that you will join me and thanks for watching. Peace.